Hello, I'm Rochelle, and this is episode 122 of the Genuine Realtor Show, which airs every Friday. This week, let's take a look at the Hamilton and Burlington neighborhoods that are most likely and least likely to feel the effects of a financial fallout. Ready? Let's go. I had the opportunity of listening to CMHC's senior analyst, Anthony Passarelli, on his research into the COVID economy and the neighborhoods that are going to be affected by it the most. Essentially, he focused on a few strong predictors of a household that may be unable to cover their expenses. Based on the concentration of those households, he determined which neighborhoods are most likely to be at risk. Using data from the census and other local sources, he was able to determine six main risk variables that um, I will share with you now. So here's a visual of what accumulates to make an at-risk area. If there's a high shelter cost to income ratio and younger homeowners with large mortgages and one income from shelter expenses households and a concentration of migrating buyers from other cities and areas with a high concentration of incomes that are dependent on at-risk industries. So manufacturing, construction, and transportation. You're looking at an accumulation of these things creating a at-risk neighborhood. All right, impromptu set change. I am filming this between appointments today, so let's keep going. Hamilton's most at-risk neighborhoods are Corktown, Stinson, and Beasley for Central Hamilton. These are the areas that show a higher concentration of at-risk households. For West Hamilton, we've got Kirkendale, Durand, and Strathcona. These areas have high housing costs relative to their income. There is a higher concentration of one income covering all of the household expenses and a lot of young homeowners with a lot of mortgage left to pay off. Rolling on in to Stony Creek, we are looking at 50 Point and the Beaches community as being the most hard hit. These areas have a very high concentration of incomes being provided by the at-risk sectors. In Burlington, the most at-risk neighborhoods are Central, Maple, and Aldershot. So this is based on the concentration of households that have one income covering the housing expenses and the overall attractiveness to migrating buyers who seem to want to settle in these neighborhoods. Now that said, all of these neighborhoods are experiencing growth month over month. So they're all sitting in that seller's market and these are rather than being the most likely to see prices drop, they're the most likely to see them slide into a balanced or even buyer's market. So now that we've covered who's most likely to be affected, let's take a look at who's least likely. In Hamilton, we've got Dundas, Ancaster, and Hamilton Mountain. In Burlington, we have Millcroft, Hedden Forest, and Roseland all being the least likely to be affected by any economic shift. So demand is still high, and if you are thinking about buying or selling in the Hamilton, Burlington, and surrounding areas, please reach out. I would love to chat with you about your real estate goals. If you are looking outside my area of expertise, please still reach out because there's a very good chance I know a great realtor wherever you're looking. If you have not already started following me on Instagram, I share a lot about my real estate journey with great knowledge dropped in my Instagram stories. So you should definitely check those out. Thank you so much for watching. Until next week, keep it genuine.